everyone and welcome back to create uh, designing press with a uh, style uh, God I feel like I've been gone forever I know it hasn't been that long but for me it does uh, I've been so busy uh, as you are well know about uh, creating with the tail store and uh, I'm trying to get it all put together and get it just you know has have things done just as quickly as possible um, so that's kept me pretty pretty busy and I just couldn't take it anymore. I had to do a, a video because I just, I just, you know, I missed them so much. So uh, I thought I'd go ahead and quickly make a, uh, you know, maybe a couple of uh, ornaments, crease ornament. Um, I have a little tree that's tall but a very narrow, which is great because it doesn't take a lot of room, and I like that. But I don't have a lot of. I wanted that shabby sheet look on it, and I did a few of them last year, but I didn't get too many of them done. So I thought I'd do a few, you know, this year too, kind of add to it a little bit at a time. Um, so I went to a Dollar Tree the other day because I needed some containers, of course, for the shop. And when I was over there, I brushed around there Christmas, and I found this pretty little star. Now, of course, I, I, have, I have worked on it, so, you know, since, uh, in other words, it was just a plain little star, and it was this color, kind of a gold color, which is basically this color, okay? The back is just plain, and the front has all these pretty little uh, pearls, which I love. So what I have done to this, um, and what inspired me this, it was uh, an ornament that I saw at uh, Best Buy, well, actually, it was a box ornament, and I kind of like the look of it. Of course, this is completely different, but I still like the idea of it. And I thought, oh, they'd be make a pretty little um, Christmas ornament, and except I want to do it myself. Anyway, so while I was in Dollar Tree, like I said, I bought the ornament, the little star, uh, and um, and that's what uh, I decided just to do a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and kind of make it my own. Uh, because that gold, uh, as you can tell, it really doesn't go very well with this pretty pink. Because uh, after that, I went to Walmart, of course, and uh, I needed more stuff there, more shelves. And uh, so I found this real pretty, let me show you, poinsettias. Isn't they gorgeous? I mean, they were just beautiful. I like the color. It's a shabby she color, which I love. It's rosy, kind of, a, I don't know, I just, I, they're beautiful. So I found this, and I also found the uh, the satin, which I already, you know, took them down, but just to give you an idea uh, of the same color, see, a combination in the satin. So I got me some of both, and I thought they would really look pretty on this, on this uh, star. So the first thing I did was I thought, okay, what do I put in it to make it, make it rosy? Because I thought I had metallic, you know, pink metallic paint and I didn't. And I wanted to get it done. So guess what? I had some nail polish. <laughs> and this is a Salon Manicure. Uh, the name of it is Raisin the Bar. Okay. And it's a 270. Uh, I like it really well. The, I, I use this a lot if I'm going to put uh, any nail polish. It's a pretty color without being too, too, you know. And I also like the brush. It's a nice little flat brush. So what I did was, and this is where I left a little bit of it in here, I just went over it around, you know, the edges of this little gold, being very careful not to have the... Uh, the pearls, you know, but, uh, and if I did, I just quickly kind of, uh, you know, took it off and just kind of dab it, dab it, dab it. I did it around the edges also, as you can tell, see, right in here too. And I didn't go inside of it, but it just mainly the outside part of it. Okay. And that didn't take very long actually. So, but I thought I'd go ahead and leave this a little bit to kind of give you an idea of what I did to it. I didn't quite completely want to do the whole thing, but I wanted to be a little bit of, you know, give a little bit of uh, the tedious part of it out of the way, which everybody knows how to do, really. So, uh, thank you so very much to all of you new subscribers. Uh, as uh, all of you know, uh, I, I appreciate all of you so much. And um, 
the, the wonderful comments that you had, you know, left me. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, the uh, I'm very happy to be the owner of the, um, you know, creating with the tail store, and uh, we're gonna keep that separate from my, this, you know, from my video you know, doing my my tutorials, of course. Uh, we're still gonna. I'm also keeping my. Uh, you know, Design and Craft with Style by Chadi, and that's where I do a lot of my videos. And then the uh, Creating with Detail store, we'll just be promoting, of course, our products and such, okay? Uh, and that's basically what we're going to do on the channel. Uh, I think we need to be crafting and uh, uh, quit being silly about things and, uh, you know, have fun, okay? Um, because that's what it's all about, after all. Christmas is coming around the corner. <laughs> I just can't get over how fast it's coming around the corner. And of course, we have to think about a lot about what is it, the meaning, the meaning of Christmas, you know, uh, why the Lord was born and why he was here. And uh, think about those things instead of thinking about all those negative things that, that some of you have been doing lately because it's not worth it. At the end, we have to face him. And uh, better face him with a clean mind than uh, with a bunch of chaos. So uh, anyway, um, but other than that, like I say, I'm really, really happy with the store. Uh, it's coming along really well. We're gonna have some, uh, some new things, uh, some new ideas, but as I said before, with all the business-like and integrity and, uh, you know, and pride on our products and how we ship it and so on. Uh, I have, you know, some uh, people ask me, you know, uh, maybe to lower the prices and listen, if I can give you cheaper, I will. But I have no choice in what they charge you for the laces. And that is the, uh, that that's that's the key right there and sometimes you can order for instance i can order a, a lace and maybe it's a great price and then order it again and they went up on the prices that's what market does i, uh, I mean i done that used to happen to me with fabric when i was doing fashion so it's nothing new to me but for those that don't know that um you know i just want to give you an, an idea why sometimes uh, we cannot get it as low as you like to. Uh, although I have to say that May has always been one of the cheapest uh, around uh, as far as prices and also uh, for the quality of laces and trims and such that she has. She has uh, really a good taste and uh, in her, uh, you know, in her materials and uh, uh, it's, it's wonderful. It's just great. Okay, so see, now I finished it off, and uh, I like that so much better because also you can see the pearls even better with the other color, the uh, this kind of a faded gold looking, which is not a bad color actually, depending on what you're going to do, but it's kind of a dull looking uh, gold light. It's between a silver and a gold, I think. It had, they have made up their mind what they wanted, and I think and that's probably why. Um, but anyway, I like that so, so much better, okay? So the next thing that I did, uh, the very next thing I did was, of course, take the uh, petals of both of the uh, glittery uh, poinsettias and, of course, again, of the uh, satin poinsettias. And so what I did, I put them together, sandwich it between them, see? And, and I uh, actually you know, kind of glue them together a little bit so they can stay together. And you see one side is the glittery and the other one is the satin. And the reason I did that because actually I'm gonna be doing an alteration in the back, front and back, okay? Now, what I have done so far in here, once I did that, like I said, I sandwiched it, okay? And then I have some that are a little bit smaller, like this. And then we're gonna do those for the center. So once I did that, what I did is on the five, well, I didn't quite do it on five points yet because I'm going to show you how to do that. But I started right here at the top. The little hole is to put your uh, ribbon or whatever to hang it in the back. It, uh, I did is put a leaf like this 
and I just glue it like well like so okay and make sure that we're all of course all the way around it hold on I got it upside down the leaf <laughs> okay and I glue it like that and I did that and all the other you know four points okay when I did that in the back I decided I wanted the glitter so I got just a plano plano and then just glue it into that once I got it glued on okay like that so anyway so this is what I did so I glued it on each one of them on each point I did the bigger ones okay and then in between like right here I did a smaller part of it see a smaller part and then uh, because I do want to keep the start look all the way and I decided well that by being the, being shorter I can still look have my uh, five point start you know uh, look in it uh, so that's what I've done so far okay so now I'm going to turn it around and what I'm going to do is go finish this fifth one here and again I did it this way facing with a satin you know to the back Let's see if my iron is uh, and then I put a little bit of glue right in the center right here put it on in here of course I measure it to be sure that they were all about the same coming out okay see like that so I just put it right there okay and then I grabbed another one let's see here this one here is okay and then what I did on this one let me get the other scissors because so I don't want to cut this um, what I did this one I just cut a little bit of the bottom okay just to make it like a little shorter and then this one I'm going to put it right between right here between see the two big ones the two tall ones okay and that's for the look at you know so they so they will look nice from the uh, the pearls side of it okay and as you can tell the leaves are all a little bit different it's okay because it makes it more interesting you know more real actually if you want to really not all the leaves are the same so now I have the ads you know uh, from the back but from the front see it looks really pretty and it looks very nice so basically the front is done so now we're gonna work on the back okay and as I say I put it in each one of them I put five corners and I did put another uh, piece of the glittery leaf on top of the satin on this first row and that's what I'm gonna do on this one. I'm gonna put a, a piece of the glittery right here onto it like this. And we're going to uh, just a little, you know, I don't have to put a lot in there, but just a little bit. And I had to get me another glue gun. The other one finally, bless his little heart, went to the glue gun heaven. And, uh, and it did me a good job while I had it, so, you know, it is what it is sometimes in it and if you want to you can cut some of this you don't have to have it all the way down it's not necessary make it comfortable for yourself okay and over here it has a little piece I'm just gonna get that in there and if there's anything shows on the other side I'm gonna nip it in there okay now we got as I say from the back, I have my five glittery leaves and my five silver leaves, okay? So then now what we're gonna do, we're going to alternate. I'm gonna put the satin on, on top of the glittery, the glittery on top of the satin and kind of scoop it down so kind of show and so on and so on, okay? So, let me get the satin. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of it because really we don't need all this. So on the big one, coming down, just coming down like this, I'm gonna come down a little bit with the satin. And I'm just gonna do the very, very center of it because I don't think I need any more than that. I want it kind of loosey, loosey. Lucy, is it Lucy, Lucy? <laughs> and I'm gonna come down like that, see? And that's gonna be just fine to get it, you know, like I wanted. And I'm gonna do all the five, you know, uh, leaves. Let's see, I'll just go ahead and put this one here like this, again. Let me go ahead and cut some of it. And I also cut some of the leaves, I don't have to be, you know, uh, you do whatever you, you feel up to it. I just decided I wanted to do it that way. And I wanna come down here. And again. As I was saying earlier, I missed my crafting. <laughs> I couldn't help it. I just, you know, I really enjoy my crafting. I really do. And uh, um, we're going to have some really interesting kits. So I thought I'd let you, you know, you kind of talk a little bit about the shop as I'm doing this. And um, I, be, I have, I'm going to be able to do a lot of the kits myself uh, at a cheap board. And so we're going to have some wonderful things. Uh, and I want to try to be very original if I can help it. You know, sometimes your mind, your brain goes to mush. <laughs> My mind does that a lot, unfortunately. Okay, see what I'm doing here so far? So, um, and that's okay, you know. Sometimes it is what it is. Oh, I understand. Sometimes they're a little bit fatter than I want them. <laughs> we trying to get it open, the store itself, by uh, the middle of October, as I originally planned it. But we're going to be releasing some kits earlier, okay? Um, and, uh, whoops, wait a minute here. Hold on. Whoops. Okay, let me get this clean, because it uh, looks like a... I got some glue or something in there. Anyway, but yeah, I'll be putting it on the on the group, and of course the you'll be able to uh, see what's going on. Uh, hopefully this next week I'll be able to put something there, and so you know, kind of keep an eye for it. Yes. Sometimes these leaves, I don't know how they make them, but sometimes they're not that great. Okay, there we go. And we're just going to keep on going. Now, what I'm going to do now is when I put the, uh, the satin, the lower part of them, I'm going to put on a glittery one. Okay, that's where the fun starts. We're going to come down a little bit also, okay? There we go. It's just that I want the combination of both. It makes it more interesting. You know me, I don't like anything that's very dull. <laughs> At least try to be as interesting as possible. This one here. Again, lower it down a little bit, you know, from the satin. There we go. Oh, <laughs> it is hot in it. Whoops. And this one.
There we go. And another one here. So this is just a little simple little project, but uh, you know, it has two functions. I get a tutorial done, and also it's for my Christmas tree. So I get my Christmas tree oh, getting it together. I tell you, I love Christmas. Christmas is my favorite, very favorite time of the year. I just love it. Okay, all right, there we go. You see, I think this turning out so pretty. I think I'm gonna bring this one up just a smidge up. Oops, they put another one. It looks like this one is not gonna work very well, and it's okay. pretty it looks and it just makes it the back a little more interesting instead of being just blah you know and uh, also I uh, forgot to mention uh, this too I gave the star before I even even painted this uh, front and back I gave it a good coat of the Mod Podge because I didn't want all that glitter just going everywhere you know and so I did this now what I'm gonna do for the rest of this glitter outside here is I probably do uh, I spray some hairspray and that kind of keeps a hold it a little bit and it's still you can see the the brilliance of it okay alrighty well let's do let's just keep going and now we're gonna do this one here and this one is coming down again, see? Another piece. Okay. There we go, right there. There we go. Hmm. And this one is so they were already, you know, lined, but that's fine. I just want to use them anyway. I'm going to use them anyway. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Make sure I did that. And one more. Okay. And here we got it. And now to break some of this uh, glitter here, we're gonna go back with the smaller ones, uh, satin. Let's see what we got here. We might have to make our own, but we'll do it. And I'm just going to come back and, uh, you know what, I think what I'm going to do is kind of maybe, you know, fold them a little bit. Well, we'll see. I'll see what we're going to do here. I'm going to cut this a little bit. And just kind of give them a little fold, make it more interesting. And this one is going to come down. Actually, I need to less than that. Okay. See how it is? <laughs> So what I'm going to do is I cut it basically the, the point of it, okay? And then I'm just gonna put a quick little fold in here. And right in the center, right here, where the other one comes, I'm going to put this one here, okay? 
So let me just go ahead and give it a little bit of a glue there so I can fold this. And then a little bit on the back. And here we go. See, that's when you kind of let me see hold on because I want something to put in here I have this sweet sweet cameo and it's a uh, Virgin Mary and baby Jesus and I just love it and it's blue but that's okay I like it and it's just gorgeous so I want to put her right in here see in the center of it because it's just gorgeous so let me see if that's gonna work, okay, before I do that. Yeah, I think it's gonna work, okay. And again, I'm gonna do this in here. bring it out a little bit. And we make a beautiful dollar ornament into a very nice little ornament. Very special. And uh, more what we want. You know, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Okay, there we go. I really do like the combination of the uh, of the glittery and then the silk and the satin. It just gives it a more interesting look, and it's not so you know so glittery. Okay, make sure I don't burn myself. There we go. And we're gonna put it right. kind of hard to handle this with a little bit of that glue because it's hot although my fingers are used to it but still can can smart a little bit okay there we go okay well now we got it all right I know it doesn't look much yet but hey it's getting there I see this is the top okay there we go okay so you see some of the silver, I mean some of the uh, satin here and there and here and there. And so now I can put my, whoops, my sweet, sweet Virgin Mary, Baby Jesus um, cameo, which I love, right there. Let's see what I'm going to do to it. So I want to make sure that all of this is just awesome. There we go. It's good. I'm happy with it. So let's just not even think about it. Okay. Just make sure that I put it on what I'm supposed to. You know, and I'm trying to keep up with what I want to put the ribbon to. Okay. Oh, yeah. Get this clean up a little bit. 
It does make a mess though. Sorry about that. I had these little things. It's kind of a, some kind of Teflon, kind of a kind of a funny looking uh, sheets that I had. I found cleaning, uh, making a space for the store, and going around with some stuff. I found this. I had it in a little drawer with some applique's, and uh, I thought, well, I, it is awesome. I wish I could find some of that. It is fantastic, but it's just look at that. It's just like a really. But nothing, nothing will stick to it. It's just beautiful. So I put it right in here, just so you know. Okay, let's see here now. Maybe let's concentrate on our. Okay. Okay, here we go. And I think what I'm trying to do is just bring out that a little bit out the leaves in here tour the uh, cameo there we go. like that oh yeah I like that better and then just kind of you know bring it out a little bit like this give it more in that gorgeous and I just want a little pearls or something in there let's see what I got well I got stuff that's for sure let's see if I want to put this one on I think Let's see what I got here. You know, I got some of this. Let me just go ahead and put some of this. This is our smaller uh, flat uh, pearls. I got this at, uh, and this is basically all my stash, except for the uh, the cameo. This comes from the store, okay? From the uh, Create and Detail store. But uh, everything else is just, you know, I bought or or I had and this little pearls uh, I bought at Hobby Lobby uh, they were at 50% off I think I bought it about maybe a couple two three weeks ago okay let me see if I, how much I need hold on give or take a slipper little booger in it <laughs> just want to make sure that I got plenty cut. Oh yeah, okay. There we go. Alrighty. Okay, let's just put some some of that. hands in here oh yeah I like that it's nothing like pearls I just love pearls I just love them love them love them okay well, let's see Go ahead and give some more. Okay. Okay, there we go. I guess we had done a little bit at a time. Sometimes this uh, glue can really dry spares than it. the only thing bad about uh, you know the hot glue it does okay. I tell you we had a today being Sunday and uh, I had a nice breakfast with my friends and uh, uh, it was such a nice day to such a nice way to start the day, you know. Um, when 
you have good friends, it's such a wonderful thing. Okay, look at that. Isn't it pretty? I really do like this. This is turning out really pretty. Um, like I said, I wanted to use this when I saw the star immediately as I was going through the store inventories, you know, and stuff, and I saw this uh, cameo, I thought, I gotta do something with that one. It's just beautiful. Uh, I think I might have, I need to find out what I might be able to order some more, but I believe I, uh, I have maybe, I wanna say two, three more of those, which I think is beautiful. And I may have some more that I haven't seen yet, but uh, it's just so pretty. Let's see, let me get this one because I'm not happy with this one. Okay, that's fine. Alrighty, I just need to put a little bit of a thing in here. And here you go. Isn't it gorgeous? So you got the, the star, the flower with the, you know, Mary and baby Jesus. On one end, the other side is also very pretty because you have the star and the pearls and I think it's very pretty. So, you know, uh, I really do like it. So I'm gonna put some ribbon. And let's see what I have for ribbons, okay? Let me go off-white because uh, I have pink, but I don't have it right here. And I don't wanna have to go and go find it. So, but I do have this one. This is very pretty. It's almost like a little pink flesh color, so I think I'll do that one. And really, it matches this pretty good, so that's what I'm going to do, okay? Alrighty, let's see how we got. First, I'm gonna put the uh, the tie. And I think what I'm, excuse me, but what I'm going to do is, let me kinda turn it a little bit and bring it in here. Come on. Let me just push it in with a scissor. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to put this one like so, and then I'm going to cut it. Okay. And I am going to make a cute, a quick little nod, okay? But then I'm going to go, I'm do is hide the nod. I like this because also too you have two different views so if by some chance that it turns around then you have it's almost having two different kinds of uh, ornaments in it <laughs> okay now I'm going to do is put this little knot in here and hide it but also you know oops, flatten it there see there we go so we can just have it, okay? There we go. So that's what I did, I just tied it in there and then I'm going to uh, make sure it doesn't show by bringing this, by bringing this uh, leaf a little bit and kind of glue it in there, okay? I think we got it, like that. And let's make a little ribbon. We need a ribbon. I mean a bow, excuse me. I always go ribbon. I always want to say a bow and I always say a ribbon. Hi, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to do the Michelle Poplin bow, as you, as you well know. And so I'm going to start here and uh, see two. Whoops. And three. That's good enough. Okay, and then I'm going to put my thumb in here, this is how I do it, and bring it all the way down, around, oops, and then I'll just come in where the thumb is under it, and that's it. So, let's see here. Let me do it again because I'm not happy with it, okay? I'm not happy with it. 
not a good thing. Okay, hold on just a second. Should I stick it off and do it again? I don't know why it's so difficult. It's not difficult most of the time. <laughs> uh, my thumbs and my fingers and everything going. Okay, I think I got it this time. All right, yeah, I think I did. All righty. Well, let me get through here. And here. <laughs> there we got it. I got it. Pat George. And... Uh, We got it. There we go. I got it. By George, I got it. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just go ahead and, uh, you know, glue it right there. It was a little bit warm. And then I'm just going to, um, you know, just bring it, kind of poof it up in there a little bit. Like that. There we go. Okay. Bring this out a little bit more. And I want to find another little pearl because I like a pearl. Let's see. No, to be no, too small. Let's see what size I got. Let's see. I like that one. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. <laughs> okay. All right, folks. So I got that one done. And on the back, it looks very sweet, very nice. And really, I don't feel like it needs anything else. It's gorgeous. I like it. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, I didn't really realize it's gonna take this long <laughs> to do one, uh, even getting started with it. But anyway, uh, I hope you give it a try. And like I said, it's uh, just a uh, Dollar Tree Little Star. And I think it's just wonderful. And like I said, I like this. I think it even turned out better than the one that I saw. Uh, and the... Um, these little poinsettias I got at Walmart. You might be able to find somewhere else, but that's what they had them. And they were like 94 cents or something like that, a bunch. It was really, really, really cheap. So I bought two bunches, and I still have a whole bunch of it. One full bunch in here, okay? And I still have uh, some satin, and I still have some of these little leaves. So, you know, uh, that's maybe with one bunch of each, you probably, you know, would have enough uh, uh, and to do it. I don't know. I'm always trying to be, you know, make sure I have plenty of help, everything. Um, so until next time, stay well, stay crafty, and God bless you.